this way. All we have to do all day long is this. Yeah, this will be okay. <laughs> this bed mm. is our world, Jenny, for the next two days. That's wonderful. Me too. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'll pretend I didn't hear that, if you will. Ah, uh, your secret is safe with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I just realized who that is. Who? Oh. You ready? Mm -hmm. It's Cassie. Oh. Uh, I told her uh, she's going to drop off some papers before she goes to school today. And your car is out front, and she knows you're mm -hmm. So go say hello to your daughter. Just a quick hello? Yeah. Go. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. I'll be right here. You know what? You are stark raving perfect. Mm. Mm. Go, go, go. Okay, okay. I'm sorry to disturb you. Oh, that's okay. That's fine. Well, here you go. All right. Thank you very much. Um, David, do you have a second? Uh, sure. Come on in. I only have a minute. I have to get back to school, but, well, something happened to me yesterday, and, well, I, I still feel kind of strange about it. What is it? Have you ever met Simon's mother? No, I haven't. Why? Well, has he ever mentioned her to you? No. No. <sighs> well, I met her yesterday. And David, they really seem to hate each other. Mrs. Allardyce, well, that's her name. She was remarried after they were divorced. She was really rude to Simon right in front of me. Why? Well, I don't know. Simon says she, she didn't approve of him getting involved in San Carlos. I mean, doesn't it seem strange, a mother speaking to her son that way? I've never heard anything like it. Seems a little odd. <sighs> anyway, she also said that, that he shouldn't be trusted. And you know, I mean, after all that thing I went through with Nikos, I trusted everything he said, and then find out that everything was lies. Well, I don't know if I want to go through that again, you know? Yes, I know. Look, you know, one of the hardest things about growing up is having to learn to be cautious, you know? But it's absolutely necessary, because as soon as you care for somebody, no matter how strong you are, you're totally vulnerable, you know? So what do you think about Simon? I don't know what to think about Simon. I know that he is, uh, is unreasonably idealistic. So you think his mother's right? No, I wouldn't say that. I... Look, one thing I'm sure of. The Simon that I know would never, ever just set out and go out of his way to hurt somebody, particularly somebody as sweet and as delightful as you are. <laughs> Thank you. I mean it. <laughs> Well, look, David, I, I better get going. I think my minute's up. No. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. All right. Um, thanks, David. I hope I was some help. Bye. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chuck. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I don't believe it. Oh. I don't think anybody's remembered this day for the last five years. Well, then it's about time. <laughs> oh, birthday. wow. Thank you, Lucy. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Okay, make a wish. Oh, I, I, I'm kind of out of practice. For oh, time. come on now. Make a wish. Let out the candle. Okay. Make a good one. All right. <clears throat> good, good. 
good. Now you're going to get your wish. You sure? Oh, I promise. <laughs> of course. Um, here, I have something else for you. What have you done? <laughs> Gosh. Oh. Going all the way. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh. oh, man, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Uh-huh. You like it, though? Oh, it's great. Good. You deserve the best. Well, I'm not sure about that, but, gee, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you will stay just here, I'm in the middle of fixing you the best down-home country breakfast you ever did have, and I want you to finish it all because you're looking mighty peaked lately. I'm going to put some meat on your bones, okay? <laughs> oh, Lucy, uh, one request, uh, okay, for the breakfast boy? Sure. Well, uh, let's not tell anybody about the day, okay? Especially Asa. Really? Yeah. Well, you're going to spoil some fun for the folks. Okay. Thanks. Oh, and one more request? <laughs> well, you may better make it fast, because my biscuits are going to burn in the oven. <laughs> Another birthday kiss? Oh, with pleasure. Come on in. Hope I'm not disturbing you. No, not at all. I was just uh, upstairs looking at that vacant apartment and told Cassie about. Ah, how was it? Possibility, thanks for the lead. Thought you and I maybe, maybe we could have a little talk about something that's been on my mind. Oh, sure, would you like to sit down? Yeah. Well, Cassie. Ah. Uh, what about her? Well, Simon, I don't know exactly what your involvement is with her. Well, I... And uh... I'm not asking you to tell me. All I'm certain of at this point is that you're the young man who seems to be spending a great deal of time with my daughter, sometimes quite late at night. Mr. Calvin, let me finish. Now, I recognize that I am very protective of Cassie, possibly... Too much so, but that's how I am, and I'm unlikely to change. And maybe you know this, and maybe you don't. But she was very badly hurt by a young man named Nikos. Oh, why are you telling me this? I'm telling you this because I want to make it clear that Cassie is extremely sensitive and easily hurt. And I want you to understand that anyone who hurts my daughter will have me to deal with. I don't want you trying to take advantage of her in any way whatsoever, physical or emotional. I understand that. Mr. Callis and I have Cassie's best interests at heart. And I realize she is very sweet and innocent and vulnerable. If anyone were to hurt her, I'd be right there with you, protecting and defending her. Glad to hear that. Just wanted to make sure we understood each other. Nice place. Oh, thank you. I've been trying to fix it up a little bit. That's pretty. House warming present? No. Cassidy uh, wanted to leave that with me. <clears throat> she uh, uh, didn't want to give it to you and Mrs. Callison under the circumstances. What a lovely present it would have made. Please don't mention to Cassie that I saw this. I won't. You see, she tries to protect me as well. Look, I cannot mention that you came over if you'd like. Suit yourself, I'm going to tell her. I hope that you'll believe what I said. I, mean, I don't think anyone could be as protective as Cassie as I am. 